Good morning, afternoon, evening. This is San Germain, and welcome back to space. Ooh, I, I'm building Lego today. Yeah. Ooh, it's been so long. <laughs> uh, if you missed my update video, that that explains why I'm uh, why my whole schedule this this week and uh, next week's onwards are going to be a bit different. But and also why I'm not building. Lego castle like I have been. And today I'm going to be building Lego space because I don't want to be alone up here anymore. I just don't. So I'm, I'm going to see who I can capture, bring up here. Bring up here for just a little bit. You know, and of course, of course, if they can, if they can find a way out, then hey, I'm not going to stop them. But that's up to their own brilliance, you know? Alright. So yeah. This is also, if you missed, uh, my first, <laughs> the first in the Lego, oh no, did I make a horrible, horrible mistake? I did. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Hmm. So yeah, I preemptively set up a lot of these pieces, uh, because a lot of them were wrong. But now I just realized I messed this one up too. No. Two. Three. Yeah, should be these ones. Alright. Well, that was fairly harmless. Okay. But yeah, if you missed the uh, other LEGO series, so I'll, I'll, I'll put a link to it in the end. A little card. But this is... Sort of similar to the first episode in that this is a, uh, this is a Legoland creation. This isn't, uh, within the original theme. So yeah, and in the, in the, uh, typically I would be doing Lego Castle with the goal of, of putting them all together into some sort of game or something. I'm not going to do that for this though. This is just this is just building space for space. Cuz I will I will see who I can bring up here. I also have I also have wish you were here playing in my in my ear as I do this. But much like the first uh, Weedabix Castle. This one's instructions are god awful, but this one's better at least because this one's at least a little bit in color. Like the version I was able to find of the instructions. And if you don't know what this program is, it's uh, called stud.io. It's a nice little handy program for creating. Oh, this isn't the right piece. Uh, is it a six piece? Yeah, a little six-piece McNugget. It's a nice little handy program for building LEGO sets. It also has the option for you to import sets, so long as you know the set number, like right over here. And it's it's just a just a wonderful program, made with love. But yeah, the problem with this one and the Weedabix Castle instructions is that. Oh, 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 just like space. <laughs> trust me on that one. That, that, trust me. Not knowing which way is up and down anymore. Okay, so this one goes here. But just like the Weedabix Castle instructions, each step makes the horrible, horrible mistake of the previous step, all the pieces being whited out. And I don't know why they did that. Like, I, I would understand if it was all just different colors, and then, so you'd know, okay, well, we're not using, you know, all those pieces that are there are, are already done. I don't need to, that's not a no, new step. But it doesn't work when you have white pieces, like the Lego castle, and of course space uses. So we're starting off with the rocket base. 
you know, that way they can that way they can make their way up here. These are nice little Lego people. I'm pretty sure that's all the pieces. Yep. Oh, what's this piece? This funny little piece. I think that goes right there. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do Lego space. I kept alternating in my mind. Oh, this isn't the right one. Not even nearly. This one? But yeah, originally I was thinking of maybe doing Lego Marvel. You know, it's like... Because I love Marvel, and that would give me a lot to talk about also, just because I love Marvel. But... I realized that, I think I mentioned this in an earlier episode, that a lot of LEGO superhero sets, for some reason, I don't know why, they're 90% car and or mecha based. Like, okay, you wanna, you wanna have a Spider-Man set? Cool, it's Spider-Man in a mecha. I mean, I feel like there's a that's a general problem for Lego. That. Oh wait. Oh no, here they are. I was like, I didn't get rid of all of them, did I? No. I think that's a general problem with Lego, especially. Uh, I was gonna say modern Lego, but I think I think it's pretty standard across the board. But it's it's a pretty big problem, I think that a lot of LEGO sets are just sort of... are just sort of vehicle sets. Hmm. Well... It's not very clear what they wanted that to be. This piece? Is it like a mini window? Surely not. Clearly not. I'm like trying to process. Oh no, you know what? It's, it's, the windows are actually smaller. Okay. I thought these were also doors. That's my bad. But yeah, I was originally going to do Lego Marvel and then I thought about Lego Star Wars. But I think I'll, I think I'll save Lego Star Wars if I ever do decide to do that. I think the other issue with like Lego Star Wars and Lego Marvel is just... Oh, make sure yep okay everything's recording uh i've had i've had an incident already i i, I don't want to have that happen again but yeah so uh lego marvel lego star wars the reason why i think i sort of changed my mind on both of those also is because this program's wonderful but i do know that it sometimes does not have the special pieces necessary for uh, theme sets like that. Especially if it has like a sticker. That's perfectly fine. You know, it's perfectly understandable. Am I missing anything else? Hard to tell, you know. And there. By the way, if you saw the Weedabix castle, this should be a lot breezier than that one. Should be, being, being, being the operative term. Is that right? Yeah. But yeah, and so after that, I was like thinking, well, another set I like, another theme I was thinking of doing was like Lego Adventure, because I have a lot of fun memories of Lego Adventure. And I thought maybe I could even mix that in with like Lego Studio, since that only has like a couple things. But that sort of fell into the same category where it's like. A, 
mostly vehicles and B oh that's not the right piece B it's got a lot of very specific to this set pieces wait what is that uh, 1 by 8 one of these bad boys I'm sure it'll look less garish when it's done, right? Hold on. Okay, I had to clarify that, yes, this base has to be red. Where are they starting off in? Where are they starting off in where it's like this bright red? Not Mars, clearly. But, you know, I might still do those sets later. I might just have to improvise in some ways. But considering how much is already wonky with this process of these new batch of recordings, I didn't really want to chance it with, you know, having to makeshift a bunch of LEGO sets. I also even floated with the idea of Remaking Lego Island. But then I saw that someone's already doing that. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I don't need to. Job's already doing, being done well. Although, I will say, it uh, is very Unreal Engine-y. Not a bad thing inherently, just... Uh, I feel like a game like Lego Island should be just a little bit more cartoonish. Just a little bit. I, I guess it's mostly the water. Yeah. You know, this isn't going to make any sense unless you actually watch that video, so I'll, I'll, put, a, I'll put something up here. Because <laughs> I do suggest you watch the video. It's, it's, a, it's a fun video. And it's a testament to uh, indie game development. Where is that piece? Oh yeah, okay. See in the in the guide it looks transparent, but I don't think it is. Just gonna plop those over there preemptively. Also, because these are older sets, they don't have minifigures. I don't know if... So, I was originally planning on doing three sets. Uh, the rocket base, the moon landing, and then maybe doing one set in classic space. Just so you can see who these... Who these... Oh, is that gonna work? Oh, okay. Good. I didn't know if it was gonna let me do that. Because it sometimes doesn't. I think it goes here. But yeah, just so you can see the brave astronauts who are going to be joining me up here. Forever. Uh, I mean, they, they can find a way out, I'm sure, but... You know. They're my friends. Why would they want to leave? I mean, you're not going to leave, right? You're going to stay through the rest of the video, right? I mean, okay, so you, you leave me, right, if, if you leave the video, but you also leave these astronauts, and are you really going to do that? You're going to leave them with me? Hey, that's, 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 that's that step done. But yeah, and so if we get to this one, then we'll we'll actually get to see minifigures. This one, the moon landing. I'm I'm using my cursor. Not even sure if you're gonna see it. For me, my cursor's like blown up, like really large, and I have no idea why. I I, I accidentally clicked something, and then it, it was like super big. Don't know why. Go ahead, give me give me those tech tips to tell me why it's like that. Because. Like, looking closer at it, it's sort of like there's a tiny version, and then over that is a huge version. Uh, 
All right, where is this little roundabout? It's hard to tell with with the white colors. So it's sort of like hmm, five up. Oh, exactly. It's exactly there. I didn't think it would. Okay. You know, we're zooming through this. I thought it was going to be a lot longer. Maybe we will get to the command center. I doubt it. But, you know, we're already on step eight. We're almost done step eight. Wait, are we done step eight? <laughs> no, we still got whatever that is. What is that? I think that's one of these? Is it? Yeah. 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 Okay. One of these. Oh, no. Uh, that's not. That can't be. All right. Someone messed up. Who did that? Is it this one? Are these different? Is this, is, they're the damn same. Okay. Let, let's figure this out. So... Zooming in. Zooming in. It looks like maybe this one is here instead. It's a little weird. Can I improvise this? No. Either way, it's going to be... Yeah, I thought so. But you know what? If that's how the little, if that's how the Lego spacemen want it, that's how they're gonna have it. I'm not gonna be. I'm, look, I'm not gonna be their dad. They like it this way. They like it just a little wonky. Okay, that's step eight done. So we're like, oh, about like halfway through. And honestly, I think that was like the hardest step. Oop. So did you play with Lego Space when you were younger? I didn't. <laughs> well, that's not true. I I, I had like... I, didn't, I definitely didn't have classic space. I mean, I think I saw, I knew someone who had it, but. Did I miss a step? No, 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 no. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. It doesn't look right, though. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. That's not right. See, this is the, this is the issue when you, when you have the white, it just sort of blends all, all blends together. There we go. So then I put this one here, and this one here, and then this one here. Like nice little archway. I guess another one there. Is that what that is? Lord, I'll never know. And you know what? If the spacemen don't like it, they can come up here and tell me themselves. I dare, I super dare them. Is that step nine done? That's step nine done. All right, on to ten. On to ten. I thought we were done with these. But no, there's so many. There's so many more. Okay, A, A, okay, there we go. I love Steps of the Sword, it was like, just do a bunch, just do a bunch right now, please.
But yeah, I had like a weird offshoot. I think it was like early 2000s. And I think I had like the Mars mission sets. Or mission to Mars, whatever it's called. Although those were like, I don't know, debatably less interesting than the than the classic space sets. We'll, we'll get into that later, but that's sort of like, you know, I, I guess I sort of talked about it in in uh, Weedix Castle, how shortly after they started with like the classic castle theme, they started doing breaking it into factions, and it's sort of. Sort of the same thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Uh, same thing sort of happens with Lego Space. Okay, like, that's turn. Yeah, this is just sort of like, do the same thing over and over again. I'm hoping really badly that I didn't mess up how I'm capturing this and you can hear you can hear all of Pink Floyd's Wish You Were Here because that would be hard to edit out if you want to listen along at this point we're at uh, have a cigar pretty much when I started the episode is when, when I started the album I think it was about about 15 to 20 seconds in. Maybe you'll find that this video, like if you if you sync it up, it like perfectly matches along. Have you ever tried that? Have you ever tried the uh Oh there's a few different versions. There's like there's like the famous uh Dark Side of the Moon Wizard of Oz. Is it Dark Seven? I think it's Dark Seven. Anyway, but I've also heard like Dark Side of the Moon and Alice in Wonderland. I've also heard The Wall and Alice in Wonderland. And that one's a weird one. Like you have to time that one a bit weird. And I think that sort of breaks it, but it is still interesting to sort of hear certain songs uh, alongside movie bits. Okay, there's more to this one than I thought. But, you know, it's sort of cool. I didn't expect to be talking about music this episode. <laughs> but it's sort of cool to hear, like... Hey, come on. To sort of hear, like... To see, like, the cards marching at the same pace and beat as... Um, the hammers... And have you ever uh, found an album that like, you just happen to be listening to alongside a movie? You know, I feel like this is sort of a rare occurrence nowadays, but <laughs> have you ever done that and then you found that it actually synced up fairly well? If you have, let me know in the comments. I want to know what that is. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Actually, if you, if you convince me, I'll probably 100% give it a shot. Because that sort of thing fascinates me. Because there's, that, there's that, that little bit of you, like, playful joy when you discover that, where you're like, surely it must not have been a coincidence. Surely it was intentional. And then you, like, think about it, and it's like, of course it was a coincidence. So why? Why would they do that? I mean, crazy stuff has happened, you know?
two, three. I don't remember this little middle bit. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I don't remember this little middle bit of which we were here. It might even just be this one set, though. If it turns out that... Oh, I thought I was making a lot of progress. But... Let's see. How long have I been doing this? Well... Maybe it'll just be this one. We'll see. I mean, we're almost done this one. Oh yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> I looked at the instructions, and... Uh, it's all cut off. I'll figure this out, but... It's, uh... It's not good. Pretty sure it's that. Pretty sure. And surely... It does this old trick. Wait, hold on, hold on. And then this. And then this. Oh, and this is going to be... This is going to be awful to sort of try and figure out. So... It's one of these again. One of these again. Excuse you. Two, three. If it helps, I'm pretty sure this is one of the biggest sets that I had planned for today. Okay, and let's just oop, set those sideways. One. I said one. Tahu. Three. That's all lined up, right? Awesome. Yep, they really did not pace as well at all, this this one part. Hmm. It's like it doesn't help that it's like it's cut off, but it triple doesn't help that the instructions are very like so here's a bunch of things you need to do all at once and there's like a very clear middle step that could have just been added so, like mm, mm, mm. Well, that's weird because that's not how it usually is I do this right? Did I mess up? Did they mess up? Hold on, let's think. Okay, so they did. Oh, so this is where they left off here. And then... Yeah? Yeah. No. Wait. <laughs> More of this? Yeah, let's say that. <laughs> Oh, what's where's that now? This is taking all my concentration. I apologize. Now wait, hold on. Now where's that? Okay, there's one left. All right. Though. Now I don't know. Well, this one clearly, but... Oh, I think... 
Here. That's what makes sense to me. And then no not not like that. Here. And then ooh ooh ooh. Hate when that happens. Alright, we're almost done this step. We're almost done this nightmare step. Yeah, it's just these two pieces left. Well, not really, but. And then. Antennae. Can we get it like. I guess we can. We can fix it in post. Pop it there. And then how do I rotate it? Oh, it's been a while. Hinge. Yeah, that's not quite right. Let's say right here. Ish. Good enough. Oh, and uh, this piece, of course. Now what's this? Oh. We're gonna make little stepping stones for the house. Well, it's not a house. Make little stepping stones for the base. Boop. And boop. But you know, this is probably the cutest touch. Can I just like make this over here and then bring it over? One. Two. How high does it go? It's very, very Christmassy. There we go. I was like, I know I can grab it by connected. And then here, yeah. You know we're sort of zooming. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that part. Guess we'll find out. We'll start by putting this one. Yeah, this part has like one of those quote-unquote illegal Lego techniques that you're not supposed to do. I'm pretty sure. I'm assuming this means clear, not... not white. I'm so glad that they, that they learned how to make proper instructions. I was there. Uh, well, hmm. That's the only one of that color, so that must be right. I think it's like this, possibly. We'll never know. That's up for the spacemen to discover <laughs> if I'd completely messed up their space base. And you know what, if they don't like the fact that that I made it like this, they can come up here themselves. Alright, is that that step done? That's that step done. And then you just go boop, and then... Yeah. Wait, is it gonna let me do it? Kinda. <laughs> it's like kinda not really it's gonna let me pretend that it's gonna do it 
right? Is that is that it? All right. What's it doing? <laughs> What's it doing? Why is it like that? I mean, it's not. Can I just can I just grab it? Can I just G or something and then no. That, that's fine. It, it looks close enough. <laughs> that's pretty much what it's supposed to do. I think that was the most confusing step here. Oh, well, that's the base done. I mean, it's not done done. It, it still need to make the, the rest of it, but... This next part's easy. Just making a little car. So that's the front. And of course, of course, gotta put the branding on it. It's sort of a shame these old sets, you can't really in integrate them with, like, minifigs. They're just sort of. By design for their own little thing. I'm sort of combining these steps. I take it that it's probably this one. They don't say for sure, but I'm pretty sure it's that one. Come on. On you go. No. Yeah. I always loved... Loved the, uh... One secret level of LEGO Star Wars. Where you were... Uh, you were in the LEGO town. It was like a nice little surprise. I'm assuming it's e it's gonna be symmetrical, right? You wouldn't make an asymmetrical car, right? Yeah, this is a this is a more relaxing series, by the way. If you're like new to it, it's not gonna be mile a minute conversation. You're just gonna be like, gonna be like hanging out at your friend's house while he builds Lego, and all you can do is watch. And you're like, can I touch Lego? And he's like, no. You don't know how to do it right. You can put on the stickers, and then you do it wrong, and then I'll and then I'll be like, ah, uh, no, you can't do the stickers either. Actually, I changed my mind. Oh, 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 okay. This is how cars work. If you're not a mechanic, this is how cars work. Then you put one of these on. It's a car. I mean, it's got all the vital car ingredients right there. Just gotta have it. Now for the accessories, gotta make it a little, a little stylish, yeah. And these two, of course. You know, this one's actually kind of in the right place. Surprise! Let me do that. I'm sure it doesn't know it's connected though, right? Yeah, no. Well, it can just stay there. We'll just. Yeah, no one has to know. What are these extra bits? I'm a little scared that they're here. Oh. Actually, I'm using them right now. No, not on top of each other. There we go. Oh, 
that was a bit confusing. <laughs> I started doing that and I looked down and I realized, oh wait, that's like the last step on this. They, for some reason, nowhere else in the instructions was it like this, but it decided on this one part, it was like, now we're going to go backwards. Five is going to be on the left, one's going to be on the right. There's a bunch of jokesters over there. Come on, there, and then there. And some of these, right? I might as well just bring them all over, right? Yeah, it's probably just going to be this one today. But you know what? That gives you more to look forward to. Next Wednesday. <laughs> this is a Wednesday series, right? I don't know. Yeah, it's Wednesday. I had to think very hard about it while I was building this spaceship part. I'm sure the spacemen will appreciate that. My attention being diverted so that I could think about the schedule I made. But yeah, because cause it's... I didn't come up with a clever thing for, for Wednesday. I'll just admit it. I couldn't think of one. I think it... I think I jokingly was like, we're building things Wednesday. That's stupid because we're already having, like, making stuff Monday. But yeah, if you, if you haven't seen the schedule, it looks like this. But... You know, you got Monday being making stuff Monday, Tuesday, Text Adventure Tuesday. And of course, this on Wednesday. We're in space Wednesday. How about that? And then Thursday is Thieving Thursday. No, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. And we're so back when Friday. Which I'm excited for, but oh boy, because recording that game gave me problems. It's given me plenty of problems already. Come on, come on, come on. And then, of course, the weekend of screams. Two different kinds of screams on the weekend. Because you got Roller Coaster, I think it's Roller Coaster Tycoon on Saturday, and. And Amnesia on Sunday. Might have those backwards. It'll say right here if it's backwards. So some of these steps are like a lot easier to execute in, in person. Best if it was just flip it upside down. And I already started doing this step. Also, the album ended, so that tells me that I've been doing this for 45 minutes. About. Yeah, just about. So yeah, we're absolutely just going to end it with this one. I'd like to do the moon landing, though. But no. I guess you have to find out next week if if they make it successfully up here. Or at least let you get a taste of how many pieces there are. Actually, there'll be a little secret up there. When I get to it. Oh, is this just like... Why'd you have me do it like that then? Why'd you have me do it like that? Okay, and then... 
this oh this step's gonna be awful <laughs> i'm sorry i just realized that the next step is uh making making the rest of the rocket and the, the problem is, is that it's got these black parts that are also going on there but it's mostly these white ones but due to the aforementioned problem of not knowing what's white and what's just a part that was already used in in the original manual it's gonna be a little bit a little bit tricky i'm pretty sure it will it'll be self-explanatory but come on please please I figured might as well just bring them all over. Okay, so it's about... It'll be about three. Okay, three and then the black. That'll make it a lot faster if I just remember that. Now, it sort of has it so that it's like... Hmm. Hmm. Can I? Oh, no, come on. You, you had it right. No, you jerk. Come on. I know you want to have it the right way. Alright. Take away the snap. Come on, this works. I know it works. I know it works because they have it that way. <laughs> hmm. This will be a problem if this doesn't work. I mean, in the end, it really doesn't matter, right? It kind of matters, doesn't it? Snap, put the snap back on. And can I like hinge it? And I forget how to move it. I like just to move it. Like I don't think there's a key key to do that. Wait, hold on. Let's try this. And then hinge it. No, come on. It's like almost there. It's so close. <laughs> it's so tantalizingly close. How about this? How about this? Does, will this let me do it? Hmm, you know, I'm, I'm almost at the point of just giving up. <laughs> I'm just saying, no, nah, it's not really worth it. Because, like, it wants to snap that way. Like, even placing it that way, it's like, no, that's not right. It has to be like this. And honestly, I don't even know how it would work that way. Hold on. Let's do this. Maybe a bit of a backwards way. Right? So we make the ring. And then put it on. Ooh. No! <laughs> it just fixed itself. Alright, well... Can we just grab these and then... 
See, that wasn't so bad now, was it? <sighs> now for you. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, right, it's three. It's three, then that. Okay, let's just make let's just make a bunch of rings real quick. But you didn't expect so many so many rings in this video, were you? That's the thing though, ships, you know, space shuttles are just mostly rings. There we go. We got a lot more rings. <laughs> we got a lot more rings to go. Come on. Come on. It's a little shy. Yeah, this is one of those things where this would be a breeze in person. Like, if I actually had this set, there would be zero conflict. But as is, super conflict. <laughs> Kind of beetle juicy. I sort of hate that, like, black and white stripes is just associated with beetle juice now. Like, a person can't have black and white stripes on their clothes without it just immediately reading this, reading as beetle juice. I mean, it's also funny, but. Yeah, we just sort of build these associations with clothing. Like, like, if someone were to wear a. You're not going to do this, are you? You're not really going, going to do this, thank you. So, like, you wear a pinstripe suit and... Suddenly, you're, like, in the Mafia. Or Jack Skellington. One of the two. Depends on your frame, I guess. Come on. I'm really hoping that I'm not just wasting my time by making more rings than necessary. I'm 99% sure I'm doing right. But I would like to be 100. 100%. When I was like a baby, I met an astronaut. And that's really all the end of the story, unfortunately, because I was a baby. But, you know, it's sort of cool seeing a picture of yourself next to an astronaut. Like, about to go in space. Oh. 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 Hey. Uh. You know, it sort of makes me think about, like... I think it was, like, a little bit of time when I was younger where I wanted to be an astronaut. And... Then, sort of... Reality hit me, where... I was like, actually... I don't think I want to be an astronaut anymore. <laughs> because I was like, it's gonna be a lot of... A lot of, a lot of studying... And, oh boy, is space dangerous. That said, that could be part of the thrill, too. Also, I don't think it would play very well with my fear of heights. But it might also help me get over my fear of heights. Though, to be fair, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure, because at that point, what is up and down? You know, I'm already in that position now, by force. But... Uh, you know, I guess that is true. Like, I'm mean, thinking about that now. Like, right now, I don't really have a sense of up and down. And, and you know, 
Oh, 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 come on. Come on. So close. So close. You're like right there. I don't care how you do it, just on one of them. <laughs> Come on. Come on, you know you want it. Gotta have it. Fine. <laughs> That's how it is. What was I on about? Oh, yeah. Space. Being in space. Alright, now... What reason have you to be like that? But yeah, so it's like... I'm up here now, and it's like... I'm not, not really feeling like that. Feeling of being super high up. I think I had that... For like... You know, I didn't even really have that coming up here. It was just sort of... It's sort of nice. <laughs> I don't know. Now what's your problem? I know you'll connect. Oh, that's why. It's because I'm not hanging, oh, doing the right thing. Uh, come on, I thought you were attached. No, come on. Back on you go. A. A. There we go. I don't know why my mouse has sort of been rebelling lately. I have to ask it a few questions. So another three, and then after these, one, please attach. It's specifically the clicking. That's what's that's what's messing me up. No. Well, that's a nightmare. Yeah, let's just build these up all the way up. But yeah, have you ever wanted to be an astronaut when you were when you were like younger? I guess that'll be like the final question of the day, considering this is like the last step. Boop. And where does this go? Where does this go? So it looks like it could go anywhere. <laughs> Grab I connected. And then... No. Oh, okay. I see now. You're not actually connected. You're just playing connected. No. 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 Come on. I don't know why the mouse is rebelling. Like, specifically with, like, clicking. Okay, and then... Where is it going? Here? Well, it's clearly not there. There, maybe? Absolutely not. <laughs> Yeah, that's like a big no. It's like relatively close is a thing. You know what? It's 
sort of like one of those things like in the end it doesn't really matter you know that's like close enough And again, if they don't like it, they can come up here and tell me. Let's, let's wrap this up. Come on. Yeah, wish you were here ended a while ago. It's just the cold, dead silence of space now. Now, hold on. <laughs> I'm looking and it's like, well, there's a piece missing in there. I'm, lo I'm looking at the, I don't know what they wanted here. That's not right. Yeah, that's absolutely not right. They wanted these two on top, and then this one. And then... What? Did I mess up? Did they mess up? Someone messed up. This goes here. And we'll just say... Because it looks like... Yeah, it looks like this was supposed to be... Wait, was this maybe one of those cases where... Hmm, let's, let's try it. Let's turn this into... Let's replace this piece. Boop. Maybe I messed up. I know that seems unlikely, but it's ha it happens to the best of us, you know? Okay, let's. And with this. Oh, now why is it sideways? <laughs> why is it sideways? Hold on. There we go. That's space. That's space for you. They're ready for space. Now let's just get rid of these extra little bubbles. And then can we, can we like move this a little bit? No. Everything please. Everything please. Come on. Oh, you're really gonna be difficult right here at the very end. At the very end of space. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining me for this weird one. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, and it's nice to be back to Lego. You know, when I, right before everything happened, I uh, wanted to go back to doing Lego Castle. You know, I was really excited because um, we were really, we were really getting to the good stuff, the the good sets. But no. That now it's Lego Space. Oh yeah, hold on. I forgot. I promised a secret. Well, not a secret, but a little surprise. Here's the moon landing coming in. And who's this little funny fella? Who's this little funny fella right here? Yeah, I'm going to do nice and close for you. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Tomorrow is Thieving Thursday, so please check in. If not... If you're not interested in that, then we have a lot of other things coming up. You'll see in the schedule in just a minute. Or you can just, you know, subscribe and come back from my Lego this Wednesday. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for stopping by. See ya.